while performing my annual spring cleaning of my computer, I decided to do a minor upgrade. We're looking at the back end of my edit system. Back in 2020, I built this system and it was the latest technology. Among its many features were four USB 3 ports and four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. Despite having eight USB ports, they fill up pretty quickly. And recently, I added this external SSD drive, so I needed another port, and I'm starting to run out of ports. So I was wondering if there was a way to add another port to the system. And looking at the motherboard, I saw that this USB port is already tied up. So is this one. But then I noticed this connection. And it turns out that this too is a USB 3.1 second gen, which gives me higher throughput. So then I needed to find a connector to go from that to maybe the back of the case where I could plug an external device into it. This is what I found. This kit, which is called a 3.1 type CF to EM half meter cable. This end is the EM, which plugs into the motherboard. This end is a USB Type-C Gen 2. And then you get a backplane slot so that you can mount it on the back of your computer, and then you just directly plug into that. There are a couple of precautions that I take. One, I put the fasteners, and they gave me three, although I only need two, in a container so that they don't get lost. Two, I wear a strap so that I'm grounded to the case because an accidental discharge could ruin a component and that could get expensive. Three, I make sure that the length of this cable will get me to the back of the machine and to the front connector and it looks like this half meter is plenty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the back plane to the cable so that's ready to slide in. And fortunately on this computer, uh, these could be either removed with a Phillips, a straight blade, or sometimes if they're loose with your thumb. But I'm gonna stay in between the cooling fans and the graphics card because there's nothing that would slot in there. Whereas over on this side, there are actual physical slots. So in the future, I could possibly, possibly plug in some component and then I would need that slot. So I'm just gonna go on this side where nothing at all would ever plug in. I do a dry fit because this connector is keyed, so it will only go in one way. And now when I pull that out, I know two things. The USB marking will be towards the bottom of the computer case, whereas the blank side will be towards the top. And then on the opposite end of the cable, the blank side will be facing down. So I will attach the back plane to that in the same fashion so that I don't get a twist in my cable. With our connector blank side facing towards the bottom of the unit, I'm gonna take the slot and I'm gonna make sure that this angled end is facing towards the inside of the cabinet for the computer. So it literally hangs. And then I'm gonna connect this way it's a, a fairly tight fit, and there are two fasteners that go in here. When I drop in my fasteners, I will go backwards until I feel the screw drop into the thread, and then I go forward. That way I don't cross thread. Make sure the connector comes through the opening and that it's flush. And again, these are just hand tight. Basically, the fastener flushed the metal, and we're done with this end. Now we're ready to put it into the computer case. We remove the fastener that holds the slot. Take that out of the way. And now we're ready to drop ours in and reuse the same fastener that was in your computer. So all you have to do is go straight towards the bottom and it will catch at the bottom of the case. So using these forceps, 
I'm gonna try to drop it in because I don't have a lot of room and I'm trying not to block your view of it. So if I can just start it, then I might be able to push it in with my fingers and then I'll block your view. So now it's time to button up the case and uh, test drive it. What to do with the slot that we took out? I would advise keeping it because I might repurpose this case later on, take out the motherboard, refurbish it with a new board, and I may want this slot closed up and that adapter out. So this, by keeping it, it gives me that option. While this kit only provides for one USB-C Gen 2 port, there are other kits that provide multiple ports. Here we see a write and read speed test conducted by Blackmagic Design. And top number is for the type E connection. And the bottom number is for the port coming off the back of the computer. And as you can see, the numbers are comparable. So for a few dollars, this is a great way of utilizing another USB port that's already built into your motherboard. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.